Hello there, shipmates. I'm Rear Admiral John Kirby, Chief of Information here at the Pentagon in Washington, D.C. I wanted to talk to you a little bit about an issue you may have seen uh, in a Navy Times story online about the Navy working uniform, the Type 1 uniform. You may have also seen a message from Admiral Gortney, the Fleet Forces Commander, about the same issue. The issue is this. The uniform, Type 1, Navy working uniform, is not flame resistant. Now, we knew this, and hopefully you knew this. There's been no requirement since 1996, as a matter of fact, for that working uniform or any working uniform aboard ship to be flame resistant. Because we know we're going to issue you, when you get aboard ship, the right organizational clothing you're going to need based on where you're working aboard that ship and, a base, and based on your firefighting duties for what you need. Now, this test was done back in October. It was an impromptu test, not one that we planned for, but it found that, in fact, the uniform is not flame resistant. It also found that it burns robustly till complete consumption and that it melts. That also is not a huge surprise because it is a 50% nylon uniform. Now, the question is, is the requirement right? The requirement that has existed since 1996. And that's what Admiral Gortney and Admiral Haney want to go look and try to find out. So together they've agreed that they need to continue to look at our requirements for working uniforms, determine the best way forward, and they're going to do that. Right now, there's no change to the fleet requirement for the working uniform at sea. Right now, you can continue to wear that uniform. You should continue to wear that uniform appropriately. And as the MCPON likes to remind us, the focus needs to be on wearing it smartly and rightly. And that's where we're going to be focused for right now. I guarantee you that as things develop and as we know more, we're going to be in touch with you just as readily and as quickly as we can to keep you informed. Thanks for your service.